The Edifier WH950NBs are a pair of headphones that are oozing with quality. They're competing with Bose and Sony's high-end offerings, but only costing about half the price. In this video, I'm going to break down how I've tested them and sort of show you where they stack up quite well against the more expensive competitors and where maybe they could be lagging behind. Now, as well as having some pretty great active noise cancellation, which we'll get onto later, these are also high-res audio certified. That means if you're an audiophile, these are gonna be perfect for you. They arrive in a nice hard little carry case. That means if you're on the go, you can chuck these in a suitcase or into a backpack, and you don't have to worry about the headphones getting damaged. Inside the box is an auxiliary cable, a USB-C charging cable, and a little airplane headphone adapter too. Now, these headphones have a really nice design. Honestly, it's just a really nice high quality feel. The leather ear cups are very soft and comfy. They have a sort of memory foam sort of texture on them, really soft leather, and they create a really good seal around your ear, which sort of helps enhance the active noise cancellation and the sort of deep bass that you get when we'll test the sound. Inside of the ear cups are this nice sort of left-right labeling that you get. Across the headset are some little copper colored detailings, just so that stand out a little bit from the black. The head strap is adjustable with this sort of metal strap that goes across the top, extending out of the arms on the side. And the cups are sort of attached to those arms with this sort of wishbone design common on most headphones. Now, some of the higher end headphones um, have actually started to do away with this sort of wishbone design. Now, they still work nicely and then actually it folds away nicely when out of use. So either you can sort of fold them away like so, or you can do, well, they go in the box and sort of fold them flat, have them flat down on a table like so, uh, or have them in the box like that. These headphones are actually pretty comfortable. That is helped massively by the soft leather that is on the ear caps and on the headband. Now they do create a snug fit that is um, pretty good. There's not too much force but um, they are quite firmly on your head. I'll do a quick shake test just to make sure they don't fly off. Yeah so you can you can do a fair bit of movement and they're not going to fall off. They're starting to sort of slip down now. Um, but there's enough sort of force attaching them to your head so they're not going to fly off um they will come off that's a pretty good um snug fit um obviously that could be taxing after a long wear um personally it didn't bother me i've worn these um whilst working for um a good five hour stint and i haven't actually noticed uh any sort of discomfort in that way. Um, the thing that probably could be more taxing over time is the headband. Now, it's a fairly thin headband. It's not. It's not too thin. Um, and I've definitely worn headphones that have been thinner, um, but that sort of thinness of the headband could potentially cause um, a little bit of sort of ache on that sort of um, top part of your head. Uh, luckily, because the cushioning there is actually really soft um, and a very like light sponge, um, it isn't as taxing as I would have expected it to be. Now the sound quality is where these headphones really start cruising. These sound fantastic. The support for hi-fi sound makes a massive difference if you are sort of into having that real clean audio. And when I went through and did all my tests on them, I did test them using Tidal on their sort of highest quality plan, just so I can make sure these did sound really good. They have a really deep, rich, low bass, clear and precise mids, and a sharp and detailed treble. So one of the songs I tested these with was a song called Uh Uh by Thundercat. The dude goes crazy with the bass guitar, and this sort of handles all those levels of um, the bass fantastically well on a cheaper pair of headphones it might just sound a bit of a muddle and a bit of a mess but these come through really clear on these it turns that song from potentially sounding like a chaotic mess to just a chaotic masterpiece now if you've ever listened to um, Royals by Lord there's this sort of really heavy deep bass that gets missed when you're listening into them on um, sort of normal speakers I would say the sort of resonance of the bass through this it just highlights so much extra things that you just might not have noticed if you worn them on normal sort of cheaper headphones. But then this mixes that bass really nice with the high end sort of finger snaps that sort of cut through that um, and come through really clearly. Also mixed with Lord's vocals, it just sort of highlights just how 
great those sort of deep sounds are. Now I tested them with the song Dare by Gorillaz. Now there's this sort of hi-hat that sort of runs through the song and sort of gives it that beat. And it really got sort of like cuts through the music. Now with these headphones, you can hear it so clearly. And there's actually sort of like quieter notes that I use at the start. And you don't necessarily hear those hits on the hi-hat um, when you're listening to it on some speakers like from your MacBook or your phone. They come through so clearly. You just make out all these sort of things that are probably quite quiet and get missed on other headphones, uh, but they just, you can pick them out really clearly and really nicely with these headphones. The staging is great as well. Uh, Michael Jackson's song, Billie Jean. There's this shaker that's sort of um, going off just like to your right hand side. It sounds like it's by the right hand side of your head face uh, then Michael Jackson starts singing and he's directly in front of you and you can sort of tell that he's right there and then when he's doing all these little vocal riffs they're sort of popping off here and there around you and with sort of the detail and all the parts of that song this the reverb really like hits you and you can it just feels like you're in the room with Michael Jackson it's really good. Now you can change the EQ of these if the particular default that comes with them isn't for you. You can download the Edifier app and you can sort of go through all of the settings for these headphones and sort of customize it to how you want it to be. And I would definitely recommend getting that app. In the app, you can choose between um, two preset EQs, uh, classic and dynamic, and then you have a custom EQ that you can mess around with yourself. There's also different sound profiles um, for gaming and movies. Uh, which sort of highlight different things like sound effects and stuff like that that give and all the movies one which gives you a sort of a more theatrical vibe than sort of music which is a bit flatter you also have a lot more in-depth control over the active noise cancellation which we'll get onto by default the mode button that's on the bottom of the headset will switch between um, active noise cancellation being high it being off and the ambient mode being on. But you can actually customize um, what different modes and active noise cancelling modes that you want. You can do high, medium, and all that stuff by going on the app and changing the ones that it cycles through. Now the ambient pass through that comes through the headphones can also be adjusted in the app so you can make it uh, more sensitive so everything around you that's coming through is louder or quieter compared to what your music is. And in the app, you also have tons of different settings that you can change. There's a safe volume mode that sort of limits how high the max volume is. So for example, if your kids are gonna be using these, you can make sure they're always at a safe level. You can enable and disable dual device connection. So you can have these connected to two devices at once. You can have them connected to your mobile and your laptop, and it sort of can switch between the two. So if you're watching a video on your laptop and then suddenly you take a call, um, it will automatically switch from the which audio source you're doing it. It's not simultaneous audio, um, but it's as close to that as you can get without things playing at the same time. Now, a thing to bear in mind, if you do have the dual device uh, link up that you can get on this, you do need to make sure that you don't have that if you want the high fidelity audio, because you have to sacrifice that sort of um, higher bit rate if you're going to be connected to devices. So if you want to have the best quality audio, make sure that is switched off in the settings. Now one setting I definitely recommend you enable is the shutdown timer. It is actually off by default, which means if you have your headphones switched on and there's something playing through them, they will stay on. And then if, as soon as you stop listening to stuff, they will still stay on and they'll stay connected to your headphones, um, which can be quite frustrating. Basically, unless you go and press the hold down the button and turn them off, um, it's just gonna slowly drain battery. The active noise cancellation will be running um, and it will just drain battery until they eventually die. Now, in the settings, you can go in and turn on this timer, uh, but you need to do that if you don't want them to just be dying by themselves if you forget to turn them off. So you can go on, you can change the interval whether it's 15 minutes or half an hour or an hour, two hours. You can change that um, and it's definitely worth doing. Now, the active noise cancellation on these headphones is very impressive. As I said before, there are three modes. There's a high intensity mode, a medium, and a sort of wind cancellation. So it's minimal noise reduction, but should, if you're walking on a windy street, it should cut out any wind. Now you can still hear what's going on around you if you're not listening to music, but the active noise cancellation does cut away a good 95% of that. Um, it, everything just becomes a lot less intense. Um, and it is, yeah, a much nicer way to sort of listen to music with all of the background noise cut off. If someone was talking to you, um, whilst you're listening to music, you're not gonna hear them, but uh, if you have it just active noise cancellation off with no music, you can make out what people are saying. Now I tested these while taking my kids to a soft play center with my wife, and the active noise cancellation took a very loud room full of screaming kids, and it, 
basically put it down to nearly nothing. I could still hear the kids running around without music playing, but if you've ever been in that situation, it's very intense, and that took away 95% of it. Now, battery life is very impressive on these headphones. Uh, the box says 55 hours, which is a staggeringly high amount for headphones, honestly. Now, it's more than enough that people who just wear these every so often will barely have to charge them, but they can easily comfortably last you all day if you're wearing them non-stop start to finish. Now if like me you tend to use your headphones for short spells of a few hours um, you may forget to ever really put them on charge and then you might find that after a couple of weeks of doing that eventually they do die. Now the good thing about these headphones and one of the things I find really impressive is that the fast charging on them is spectacular. Um, if you realize oh no my headphones have died and I need to charge them before I go out and you're about to go out just 10 minutes, plug them in, leave them for 10 minutes, you should have enough battery for the day. You're probably gonna get a good seven hours of charge from that. Now, I would suggest that you do obviously charge them full, but um, if you're in a pinch, you're gonna get a decent amount of battery life just from a few minutes plugged into the charger. Now, I've done a couple of tests of um, audio recordings that I've made using the microphones on this. So um, if you're gonna be taking calls on this, it's important to know that people can hear you. Um, so what I've done is I've done one when I was in that soft play center, um, and then one of just me in a normal blank room. So we'll start off with the blank room. It sounds just like this. This is me testing the Edifier WH950NBs in a quiet environment. And then in a busy place with loads of people running around and screaming, uh, this is how it sounds. This is me testing the microphone for the Edifier WH950NBs in a busy, crowded environment. And I think you'll agree with me that actually it sounds pretty good. Obviously, I think the quality of the audio, because it's trying to cut out some of the extra noise in the um, in the busy place. Um, the actual quality of the voice isn't as good, but you can still make out what I'm saying. And then obviously in a quiet room, it's um, as clear as you need it to be. So in summary, what are my thoughts on the WH950NBs uh, by Edifier? I really like them, really good headphones, and they sound fantastic. If you are into music and you want to be getting a really good sound, then they are definitely worth it. If you're looking at something like the Sony XM5s, um, I would recommend checking these out first because you're potentially going to save yourself an absolute fortune and go for something almost half the price and getting as good a sound quality. Now I would say the Sony's are probably better headphones and there are a few quality things that are better. I think the actual noise cancellation is probably slightly better um, and there are some sort of touches like, like the, the hinges and stuff like that. Um, but in terms of sound quality, honestly, for a very large difference in price, you're getting a very small amount more when you go for those headphones. So if you are interested in a budget-friendly pair of high-end headphones, these are the ones for you. But guys, what are your thoughts on these headphones? Put them down in the comments. I'd love to hear from them. And if you want to get hear more tech reviews and gadget reviews and stuff like that from me, please do subscribe. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Whoop!